Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Brew Dude coming at you with another brew review. Today I'm coming at you with Black House Brew by Modern Times. I initially discovered Modern Times um, at Native Sun L House. It's an L house that I go to here locally. They they had a um, Black House, uh, the Black House not nitro. They, they you know they infused beer with nitro and it comes out super smooth. So um, shout out to Mike for always hooking me up there at, at Navison. This is the fourth beer that we're gonna be reviewing for Modern Times. Um, I don't know why this one wasn't the first one that I reviewed and this is probably gonna be my favorite one from their whole lineup. Even though I did like the uh, Mosaic IP, Mosaic IP. Um, uh, I don't know, but let's go ahead and review with the packaging guys. If you guys wanna see the close up. Remember they're 14, I'm um, sorry, I think 16 ounce uh, cans, a four pack. Once again, the packaging is very uniform. It's white, um, you know, it looks fancy. They has three lines, uh, three colors, three different colors. Monochromatic, um, three shades of brown. I don't, I don't even know the colors. I'm not even gonna describe it. Describe it. Um, it looks nice, like I always say, it has the name of the beer name of the brewing company as a description of the beer coffee roasty style it's fancy man I like it, it takes a five a spank if anything let's go um, review a little bit or, or go over uh, what they have in the beer a big a brief description of it all right okay, so here's a brief description of the beer um, the beer has 5.8 percent alcohol by volume it is 40 IBU, 40 out of 100. Shouldn't be that bitter, at least when I tried it, it was super smooth. It has 1.018 in final gravity. For the malt varietals, it has two roll, kiln coffee malt, oats, pale chocolate malt, black malt, roasted barley, biscuit, and crystal 60. It actually has some coffee in it, 75% Ethiopian and 25% Sumatran. I don't know if any top coffee snobs are out there. If you guys can leave a comment, I don't even know what the hell they are. All right, guys, so you guys saw the close-up. You got a description of what's in the beer and the percentage of alcohol and things like that. I'll read the description that they have on the can as uh, per usual for modern times. It's so great that you like coffee. I just love that about you. Speaking of which, you're holding an oatmeal coffee style positively redolent with coffee aroma and flavor. Kind of tastes like a chocolate covered espresso bean only drier and more like beer, uh, obviously. Nifty fact, we're one of the only breweries in the world to roast our own coffee, where, which allows us to be extremely persnickety about which beans we buy and how we roast them. Taste the OCD. I guess the OCD explains the packaging. All right, man, let's go ahead and have a pour. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't know that much about coffee, but Smells like coffee for sure. In terms of the pour, look at that beautiful color. The head is like definitely brown, darker brown. Look at that. Looks nice. All right, we don't want it to foam over. Even if it does, it's just a happy accident. <laughs> All right, guys. So I waited a few few seconds. Um, it's maintaining what a two, three finger head. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going down that much. It'll probably go down to a two finger head. But let's go ahead and, um, for the sake of science and reviewing, drink this beer. like a full body running around for some reason it's like I don't know it's like thicker you know, like it's going down to like what finger of head but anyway coffee taste is definitely there um, I'm, I'm guessing it's the oatmeal that makes it feel full body like, like really good um, the taste man this shit is exceptional I love this beer I love this beer. Honestly, I can already tell you, it's taking a spank. It's in the top five. I'm almost certain of who it's gonna take out, but we'll go ahead and leave that for later. 
guys, this taste is good. This beer, I mean, we're dirty. We're here in California. Well, I'm here in California, summer. I had this last night. Well, it wasn't even like nighttime. It was like evening, like around six o'clock. I was kind of like, well, like 80 something degrees. And this thing was still good, you know? Okay. Let's go ahead and um, check the buzzability test. We'll be back and um, see how good we can get with this one. All right, guys. So we're back with the buzzability test. This is my last view from the four pack. Um, took me a good minute to to um, finish it. I started watching the uh, Dark Knight and I was out. I, I, I was hooked on it. I just found out it was on Netflix. So. Yeah, that's probably my, my favorite movie of all time. But I was watching it, I reacted, I'm like, yo, I need, I need to finish recording this video. So, if anything, we're here on the last beer. Um, I think you should know, as I said earlier, this is taking a spank. It's going on the top five. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do the honor. Um, it's going to replace Turbo Dog. So, Turbo Dog by a Beta Brewing Company. It was a great beer. Brown Ale. It was on the top five for a very long time. But modern times has spanked the ass of the competition. So, so with the, with the four pack of modern times black house, should catch a good buzz. I'm catching a great buzz. Um, this is, I, I think this this beer is more in terms of flavor. It's a really great flavor. As I mentioned before, if you're a coffee stop, dude, this is this is beer for you. You might not even be a coffee stop, but dude, dude, the smell and the taste is so coffee. Like this shit is good. It's somehow sweet, smooth, and bitter at the same time. I guess that's what it, coffee. I mean, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but. I mean, we're gonna, dude, this is spank nasty. That's all I'm saying. I don't know any other beer that tastes like this, but if you guys have any recommendations, please do so. This, this is crazy. This, this beer has blown my mind. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. If you, if you do like the video, go ahead and comment anything you like. I don't really care. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. If you would like to check the previous brewery that i reviewed click on the left now if you'd like to watch the last video please click on the right now please click on the skull now to subscribe